let us establish one thing as an undeniable fundamental truth. That whether you are for or against the state of Israel, more likely than not, your opinion is going to be very annoying and triggering to anyone who thinks logically or who has some sense, who has an intuition and an internal bullshit detector. See, my little skeptic inside my head sometimes goes off and hears bullshit, and then he recognizes it, and he gets annoyed by it immediately. I know females that think like this, too. Where they hear BS, they're a little annoyed by it, and they pick it up immediately. There's an instinctive sensation like that. For example, I really get annoyed when people that hang around with Irini and his sphere are so pro-Israel and conservatives that are pro-Israel as hell because they sound dildorific. They sound dildos to the max. And then I can't stand liberals that try to play the anti-Zionist game because, and this is on the other hand, that's the closest to uh, being politically incorrect that they'll ever get, and since they like being edgy, they try that, and a lot of it is true and justified, which is why it triggers me less, but then you got the conspirators who also are against the state of Israel. And they make it annoying because conspirators, they have deteriorating, deteriorating brain cells. And they oftentimes are always the worst stereotype of what a conspirator is. They say things like, wake up sheeple, do your own research, go on Facebook and share shit with all caps on about... Something as ridiculous as chemtrails. And they're all the worst stereotypes. Yet they don't see that in themselves. There's a Dunning Kruger, which is a big Mr. Monk 7 trope, citing the Dunning Kruger effect. But we really don't see our worst stereotypes sometimes. I certainly don't see mine. I should see some of them. I see some of them. Man, I noticed that neck beard coming through. But then going back on the pro-Israel side, besides the Arini Spear, the alt-right pro-Israelites, you also have the pencil-necked geek type of Jews that are oftentimes Zionists. They always come off dorky as shit because those kinds of Jews are rarely cool. You look at the kind of guys that get bullied all the time. And not the fashionable bullying. I'm talking about these guys are getting wedgies and they're getting hung ar around and put on squirrelies. Um, they get dunked on in toilets. Cool bullying is when you're socially ostracized and... It makes you look sensitive and torture. It's the bullying you see on television nowadays. Where it's like, well, I can really empathize with this guy. No, these are guys that get swirlies all the time. Now, there are positions on Israel that I do like. They're more practical kind. Which is... I'm not on the side of Arabs, I'm not on the side of Jews, I'm for the best interests of whites. And if the state of Israel gets in that way, then something needs to be done about that, and oftentimes it does play a detrimental role. Not a fatal role, not a 
not too detrimental of a role, but it plays a bit of a negative role. It's a net negative sometimes. And Israel has its problems. But it's not as deadly or horrible as some of the conspirators make it. There's a lot more to the Jewish question than Israel. There's the involvement with the media, how they get into social institutions, things that they've always done. And that's a real issue. Because when they're not policing themselves, they're policing other people. Kind of like what's happening with Facebook all the time where they really want to crack down on stuff that shouldn't be their business because they're paranoid. They like to go into social institutions, so they like to get involved with law, the media, a little bit more behind the scenes political stuff, hiding behind the regality hiding behind the throne, because that's where real power often lies in. But not so much. Anyway, this is Ms. Kramaka 7. I sound a bit too much like a pseudo-intellectual in this video, but it's all good because I know that I'm not the biggest intellectual in the world. And I also know that I'm the shit. So it's a two-sided coin. And I wouldn't want it any other way. So suck my dick.